Good afternoon or morning, depending on when you see this. Okay, this is a short lecture. It's on grammar. It is pluralizing nouns. That is your first assignment that's really English, and it's not just a form where you answer questions and stuff. So this is what we're going to be going over, and this is what your first actual assignment, and this one will be grammar because you'll have that regularly for a while, will be. Here we go. English 3 Grammar. Forming plural nav plurals of nouns. For most nouns, you add an S. In other words, a noun can be one or more than one, basically. Don't you think? I can have a sweater or sweaters. So, when you're forming plural plurals for nouns, the most time you add an S. Look at your examples. I have singular, dog, kite, pencil. I add an S. It makes a plural more than one. Dogs, kites, pencils. Okay, forming plurals of nouns. Nouns that end in S, X, Z, C-H, or S-H, you add an E-S, not an S. Here's your example. Singular, glass, suffix, waltz, trench, bush. Notice it's E-S, glasses, suffixes, waltzes, trenches, and bushes. And I know some of you think that this is really easy, but let's make sure we do it. All right. For nouns ending in Y, preceded by a vowel at an S. In other words, it's a vowel and an S. Singular, alloy, turkey, essay. You add an S. Alloys, turkeys, essays. And notice there's O-Y, E-Y, A-Y, vowel, and then a Y. Now, if it is a ends in a Y, but it is preceded by a consonant, then you change the Y to I, then you add an E-S. Singular is city. Notice it's changed Y to I. Cities. Enemy. I-E-S. Enemies. Spy. Spies. All right. Let me move this a little bit. There we go. Now, for some nouns, and again, when it's some, it's only some of the time, so be aware. That end in F or an F-E, you add an S. For others, you change the F or F-E to V and then add an E-S. All right. So I take the word belief. It ends in an F. It ends in an S. Beliefs. Roof, an S. Wolf, wolves. V-E-S. Fife, I don't know why they're indifferent. Add an S. Knife, change the F to V, add an E-S. Leaf, change the F to V, and add an E-S. Leaves. Okay. When your noun's ending in O, the letter O, the vowel O, preceded by a vowel. So it's a vowel and an O, you add an S. Singular, patio. Patios, rodeo. Rodeos, the no, notice you just add an S. Ratio, ratios, kangaroo, kangaroos. For nouns ending in an O, but it's preceded by a consonant, you add an ES. So I have tomato. To make it tomatoes, add an ES. Potato, potatoes. Hero, heroes, echo, echo. The E-S. For some nouns that end in an O and proceed by a consonant, especially referring to music, that's a big one, you add an S. Taco, not music, but it is one of those that you just add an S for tacos. Same thing with doho, dohos. Soprano and allegro are both music terms, so they are also end in just an S. Okay. There are a few nouns that are irregular. Examples, child becomes children. Ox, oxen. Woman is women. Tooth is teeth, mouse, mice, foot, feet. And then there are some that are singular nouns that they are spelled the same, whether it is singular or plural. Chinese, scissors, salmon, sheep, aircraft, binoculars. Deer is another one. Now, forming plurals of most compound nouns. A compound noun is a word that is made up of two or more other words to make a different and separate word. So I take the word bookkeeper. I add an S. Okay. So compound nouns from the plural form only last of the plural of only the last one. Book, bookkeepers. Two-year two-year-old. See, it's two-year-olds. Grand jury. Oh, now notice that jury 
it's the last of the word, ends in a Y. It's a consonant Y, so it's changed the Y to I, E, S. Okay, now, if you have numerals, letters, symbols, and words used as words, to form the plural, you add an S most of the time, or both an apostrophe and an S. Either is correct. So, if it's the number eight, but I want to say there are eight eights, for example, I can do eight with an S, or I can do eight with an apostrophe S. The seven, if I'm going to talk about a time period like the 1700s, it can be at an S, 1700s, or in parentheses like this, apostrophe S. The letter T, S, or apostrophe S, and that's that symbol. It is and with the S or apostrophe S, and then the word and, I can either put an S on it to make it plural, ands, or and apostrophe. So hopefully this helps you. Now you're going to have an assignment. They're worth one point each. Pay attention to the spelling. Use this particular uh, slideshow so you know the rules. If it ends in F or FE, you may or may not do change the F to a V. Okay, that's one thing you need to look at. Also, if it is irregular and it doesn't fit that, look it up in the dictionary. I recommend Merriam-Webster. So, your assignment is going to be due at the end of Tuesday, uh, this coming Tuesday. This will be your first official assignment that's work, and it's grammar. And we'll see you later. Peace and love.